I know it's on YouTube. I I'm pretty sure I have a good idea of exactly what's going to be discussed here. I would wager a guess that all of the original phase members are at the mercy of all of the suits that have been brought in and took control of phase. Same stuff Rain was saying. Yep, that sounds about right. There's the Prime Tiger and the bits of Dowland and Chris. The fact that I have to sit here and make a video as someone who's been a member for 12 years to get anyone's attention, to be taken seriously, is crazy to me. I've tried to solve this privately for years. For fucking years. The fact that I care this much and I'm not even a real owner. Everyone has made it very clear that I'm not an owner and I'm not even near any of the top dogs and I don't matter for shit. You've showed me over and over and over again that I do not mean shit to you all. How are you gonna be the biggest organization in the world? Leaders in this scene, pushing this scene forward, pushing this industry forward, leading by example, and you can't even take care of your members that's been in for 12 fucking years. I've never claimed to be- Well, it's because it's, that's the whole space. It got infested with Silicon Valley types. They assumed aggressive control of these organizations, probably by flashing tons of money in the face of young men that established them, like in this phase example. You had these young kids, Call of Duty kids, see these like really established businessmen coming in, waving fat fucking stacks, and they give up too much control of the company, and before they realize what that actually means, they end up in a position like this where these suits have no fucking idea on what exactly the company even produces, what the product is. They don't care about the people in it. It's all supposed to generate money, and they don't know how to do that. So now you have FaZe being public worth less than a stick of gum. They have no way of writing that ship. They continue to spend money on brand recognition plays, which don't equal money in the bank, so it continues to spiral out of control. We have seen it with so many fucking esports orgs now. A hundred percent. It's a goddamn shame. There's the recent Aaron graphic and the Prime Slade. Investors ruin everything, it seems. Well, it's not just investors. So a lot of these suits come in and try and, like... Ah... <sighs> I don't want to say like to like sell people on a delusion because FaZe is the most well-known gaming brand. Like it's a it's a normie brand. It's breached the normie market. Kids know it even like in school, right? So it does have brand play. And you would think that translates to money, but in this space it's unique where it almost never does. So they're losing so much money because they bought so many creators all at once and still had no idea what to do with them. Like, they spend tons of money on content. You remember, like, the millions they poured into, like, uh, Be The Next Phase Member contest? And, like, no one watched it. They had, like, 200 peak viewers on that whole thing. It was, like, this live stream series that only got, like, an average of 50 viewers. Or Most of you don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. Case in point. They spend so much money on things because they don't know what the product is. They tried to corporatize it. But outside of, like, the Phase members, it was just suits trying to make number decisions that don't actually work. Like, they, they, it's so misguided. They have people at the helm that don't know the space. They don't know what they're doing. And then they shit on people that have been there since the beginning. All of that's been publicized. Not surprising. It sucks. I feel bad for them. They were young kids that got taken advantage of by the suits. The resub Repsion, Syntucky, Mog, Queef, Crowned, Arthur in the Prime. Sarah. Yep, that's true, Ryan. Thanks, Risa Prodigy. Just greed always will be. Well, it's more than greed because it's super misplaced. For example, buying Snoop Dogg. What the fuck has Snoop Dogg done for FaZe? Besides take one picture where he had a FaZe necklace. Has he even been in a single piece of content? That's a genuine question. I don't I don't know if he has. Let me see. 
I don't think I, I'm fairly confident he hasn't been in a piece of content since the announcement. It looks like March 7th, when he signed, is the last thing he's been in for them. Like, that is a worthless spend. Completely fucking worthless. And I guarantee it was an equity play. I guarantee not only did they pay him, they gave him stock in phase. That's fucking worthless. He doesn't do anything for them. But they think because it's Snoop Dogg with a name like that, somehow him being on board is going to translate to money in the bank to start getting more in the green. Somehow, magically, but it never does. And then all of their esports teams are a huge expense. Even when they're good, they still don't make money off them because the salaries are so expensive, travel is so exp expensive, and unless they're getting first place and they're taking like 30% of the prize money, it doesn't offset the cost of what they're spending. So they're tossing even more money into the fire pit, and then they have like 90 creators and like a crazy large content team that produces shit that no one's watching. Like, they, they, they have no way of making money. They're so fucking trapped. Is the resub go blue well prov C money in the tier one random in the prime fry? Yeah, probably Ryan. Thanks to the bits Kai and the gift sub. Tortellini. Apex banks, tempers, reigns level, okay? I never claim to be them. I never claim to be an owner, a leader, any of that sort, okay? I know my place and they've made it very sure what my place is. Like I've never tried to get what they have. I've never tried to be them. Like, trust me, okay? I'm not delusional. It's this leading me on with fake promises, with just lies, and then never owning up to it, always blaming someone else. Do you want to hear something even crazier? The only contract I've ever had with FaZe, guess what contract that is? The only contract I ever had. 80-20. 80-20. The Tifu contract. The only 80, contract 20. I ever had with FaZe. Yep. As I was publicly defending FaZe on Twitter, everywhere about that whole situation i was in the same contract myself let that fucking sink in i told them i need this contract terminated today or i'm going public with it and they did terminate it okay but here's the thing this is like 2019 even at that point no follow-up the tifu no contract was a big drama if you guys don't remember tifu publicized his phase contract it was extremely predatory phase would keep 80 percent of everything he'd ever make he only gets 20 at least i think it was 80 might have even been more. It, it was 80 or more of everything Tifu does or whatever. They get 80 plus percent or whatever, and he only gets 20. That was the contract. <clears throat> Some, somewhere in that ballpark. I'm pretty sure it was 80 20. 80 to phase. New deal, no new contract, no like, hey, we, we want to make this right. Nothing. I always thought I was just building, so I never asked for anything. But even if you're going to include me with you guys, even at a smaller scale, scale and at least do that. Or pay me. The prime or pay moment. me like any other fucking employee doing work for you. Twice. The five I did the Taekwondo. champion Thank you. collab photo shoot. And I have to go out at 7 in the morning to get pictures for the shoot the same day. For free, by the way. While you sell the draw for millions and millions and millions of dollars. You can't even pay me. I've talked about that before. This isn't actually an exclusive phase problem with what he just said there. A lot of big orgs will force the creators that they sign in the org to do their ads for them and they get nothing so i'm not going to say any names it's not worth it a lot of orgs when you sign a creator they now become your marketing vessel so if you have a chipotle deal for your esports org that deal will now extend to all of your creators but they don't get that money so they'll do the ad for you and you take that money it's part of them being a part of your company that's that's the benefit to the company so, they'll do an ad for Chipotle for free, and the org's the one that actually takes in the money. It's a huge problem. That's something I've talked about before as well. I think that shit sucks. I think that shit is trash. Thanks to the five gift subs again, Tortellini. And the resub Biz Joe and the Prime Gopher and the resub EBN. the fuck is up with all these high-end orgs like i said they don't know how to make money in the space they don't nobody does it is an industry that bleeds money and these suits came in because they saw 
this crazy fucking like 15x multiple in the industry for some fucking reason because all the numbers are so inflated they came in you know dollar signs in their eyes and thought they could make so much cash off it and cash off it and quickly realized they can't and they don't know how so they desperately started making very greedy predatory decisions which leads us to today and they're still losing tons and tons and tons of money Thanks you said Elliot in the tier one Amadeus. And the resub kitten. Yeah, a little bit for the fucking photo shoots. It's just all this like where I always feel like I just owe you something. I just owe you something because it's such a fucking privilege to be in phase, right? I've been in this fucking gray that's, zone. Where that's I, how the I'm that's the how the orgs get you guys. Because like, no, obviously I'm not nearly as important as these guys, but I'm also not getting paid for anything I'm doing. I'm just in the middle. Hey, you are valuable. For what it's worth, though, Tico, they're also not getting paid. So like the other members he mentioned, like the other co-owners, when Tico's doing those free ads for them, <laughs> they're doing the free ads too. In phase itself, the org gets the money, but it doesn't offset the cost, so it's still just zero. They still aren't getting shit from it. It's completely, it's a complete fucking wash. Like the tier one stonery, the resub, angel. Very simple, Tori. Salary. Thanks for the 10 gift subs, Bobby. Good to see you. I hope you had a good day member here's a contract nah nah because it's such a fucking privilege to be in face i'm so fortunate to be in face i never asked for anything and i just said yes and yes and yes and did everything you ever asked for without ever asking for anything because i thought i was going to be included with y'all someone else can come in as late as last year who's not from this industry never lifted a finger for face probably didn't even know what face was and get three times the amount of shares that i have and a monthly or annually salary that's more money than ever being paid from face yep. by a mongful. Lil Yachty. All these years, we always Who else do they have? Snoop Dogg. Who are the other talent big celebrities? First. Talent is the most important thing. I know they got a few others. No, not. You've always... Does FaZe have Bronny? I'm pretty sure FaZe has Bronny. LeBron's son? Yeah, they do have, they do have Bronny. I thought so. All of those people are probably not only on payroll, but also own shares in FaZe, like he mentioned. And significant ones, too, I imagine. Which is fucking worthless. Worthless! Thanks, are you sub fan, Binny, Forsaken, Idiot, and the Prime, Darth, and Kane. The actual idea of getting a celebrity involved in an esports org is cool, but only if that celebrity is actually going to be active in the org. Like, I have no doubt, in particular, Lil Yachty could have been huge for FaZe. And actually, I think he did do quite a bit with FaZe for a little while. I don't know if he still does. But, like, that can work. You bridge the gap between normies and your org. And if that normie lightning rod, like Lil Yachty, is enthusiastic about the org, a lot of good can come from that. So it's not a bad play, but they're choosing the wrong partners and giving way too much for it. He's the tier one Jack in the tier one campaign. Well, I own an esports org, so I've learned a lot about the industry. Probably Clarkson, and yeah, I saw that. He showed us otherwise. You've always showed us that these recruits that you make, the celebrities who get more, like Snoop Dogg and his son has more money. And more his son has money too? And a lot or, uh, of face members. Chairs, who sorry. Fucking day one. It's not even just about me at this point. There's so many people. Yes, Rain is right. For everyone that's saying Rain's tripping, Rain is the only guy who has balls to speak up. He's the only one that's not letting them walk all over us because he cares about the brand. I care about the brand. And I'm not even a fucking owner like that. I don't own nothing compared to them. My opinion is not valid for these people. They don't give a fuck about me. I had to invest money in face to even have any kind of part of it because they had given me nothing. I've been in face for nine years at this point. And the first way in for me is me having to invest $50,000 of my own money. And even in that whole process, they fuck me over. So I'm asking you, this is not a video where I'm going to- Damn, that, that's unlucky too. That 50k would go a long way right now with FaZe public stock and the absolute shitter. Unlucky.
That 50K, I bet, didn't even buy him a full percent. Probably not even close to a full percent. FaZe used to be valued, valued at a billion dollars. Thanks to the tier... I already said that. And thanks to the bits Taekwondo. Yep. FaZe used to be valued at a billion dollars before going public. I think it was actually right before going public. And now it is valued at, I believe, 30 mil. Let me double check. Uh, so I, I exaggerated. It was worth just shy of a billion in October 28th of 2021. So not that long ago, a roughly $1 billion valuation. Is the resub Roger, Jack Bauer, and Vince? Thanks a bit, Snert. Yep, VC kills all these orgs. You, once you start giving up that percentage to the suits that don't even know what the product you're selling is, you're fucked. Damn. Crazy. Then I'm like, I'm leaving face. I'm asking you, am I in face? Because I've been in for 12 years and you would think that someone that's been in for this long and have such history with you guys would have some kind of deal with you and a contract with you and incentive with you to move forward with you. There's nothing for me at this point with face. There's nothing like I have a salary. I don't have anything to work towards. I don't have like, no matter what I do, I don't make anything more from this point. There's nothing. So I guess you don't need me. I guess I'm not a valuable person then, you know? I'm just a small time. I should have just been lucky that I was even a part of it to begin with, right? I had over $100,000 in FaZe's bank when we bought the CSGO team. I did get the money back like a year later, okay? So I'm not saying that. I did get my money back. I'm just not going to act that, like I wasn't a part of that, that I wasn't like low-key. One of the reasons we even got a CS team to begin with. And I'm not taking credit for making it happen at all. I had nothing to do with that. But if you don't feel like I was any kind of bridge and I had $100,000 in a bank account, and I've been to more CS events than all of our owners combined. I give more fucks about that than all of our owners combined. They can't even make as much as a tweet when we win a major. Oh yeah. Oh my god, that's another thing that I've talked about a lot. So since all of these orgs have been taken over by these corporate zombies, they do not give a fuck about any of the teams at all. Even when they take first place, you'll be lucky to get a tweet out of them. You'd be so privileged to get, like, a tweet out of it. Because it doesn't matter. They don't make fucking money off of it. And they're realizing that now. Even when they take first in a major, they don't make anything off of it. And it pisses them off. And they can't figure out how to monetize it. Thanks to Risa, Roger, Barbecue, Cheese, Caffey, Ink, and Nomad. And Honey. And AC. Show them. What the fuck do you mean? I don't make any money off of it. But Ludwig and I know that. Like, Lud signed up. No, he, he knew our financials. He knew how much we were losing. And it's a lot. But the difference is, we know... But the, the thing is, it's fun. The content is unreal. That's why you see creator-led orgs are kind of working. Like, it's not just moist. You have KC. Carmine Corp is killing it. I think Carmine Corp is actually almost profitable, which is unheard of in the space. Carmine Corp is led by French streamers. It, well, mainly a French streamer, Kometo. And they fucking kill it. They're doing amazing. And now you have Disguised Toast with Disguised and Valorant. I think even uh, XQC's toying around with the idea of getting in the space. Like, the creator-led orgs are really, like, the only viable way right now. <laughs> because, like, th it's content. The product is content. TSM is still doing well, yeah. TSM still remains profitable even with the FTX collapse. 100 Thieves remains profitable because of their merch and their acquisitions on the business side. TSM is like a unicorn in the space, though, for sure. T 
TSM is like like absolutely somehow able to do it really well. 100 Thieves is really smart with their business acquisitions. Thanks to Tier 1 Joe and the Resub Carver and MRP. Thanks to Bits Taekwondo. Have fun. I care about this. Yeah, faces. No, you don't. I'm not even an owner and I care more than you do. I used to pay for my own flights to go to tournaments with the CS team. I used to take them out to dinner, pay for the dinner with my own money and never ask for a reimbursement because I just wanted to represent FaZe the best way I could. I swear on everything. So I've done all of these things. I never asked for anything because I always thought, no, I'm building. We're building. I'm a part of this. Even though I'm less, again, I want to clarify it. I know I'm not the real owners and I never tried to be. I'm never asked to be or never asked to get what they have. But holy fuck, it's disrespectful when you put it all together. Face Clan insisted in making the clothing with me, like my merch drop and stuff like that. And I was like, you know what? It makes sense. We'll do it together. It's a good split. We'll make Terrible it idea. House. Fuck up the design and like the manufacturer process. And then I have to go on Twitter to find out that these people haven't received. Yo's have probably got a terrible cut. And I don't even get as much as an apology. And some of those people got the wrong hoodies because you put the wrong print on. After that, I obviously don't want to do clothing in-house with FaZe anymore. So I do it by myself. I pay for the designs myself. I found a manufacturer myself. Everything, okay? I do everything myself. I didn't ask FaZe for a single thing. I get my own website, Tico.com. Pay for it, everything. And then they still contact Thanks me trying to get Ellie. 20% of my profits without ever doing anything, no design, no help with nothing. They're still trying to take 20% off my clothing drops and my merch drops and my rug drops. Yep. Because I mean... That's another big thing I've talked about. A lot of these... I don't think... I think people have kind of got privy to it, so I don't think they do it as much anymore. But when we were first getting in the space, it wasn't uncommon to see these contracts extend to anything involving their talent. So, we'd even seen a contract that took Twitch sub revenue. Totally unrelated to the org. Like, if you were a streamer that joined the org... They were entitled to some of your Twitch sub revenue, which blew my fucking mind. Blew my mind. Like, it's totally unrelated to everything involving the org you're signing with. It was so shady. It was so fucked. But that just shows how desperate they were to somehow try and get green. There was no links they wouldn't sink to. In face. You did nothing for me. If anything, you were the one to push me away. I Things wanted to one. make it with you Immigrants guys. Immigrants in the resub. deliver. No. In a way, Prime face is bigger than it ever was, the but it's L. also smaller than it ever was. All of these collabs that we were doing with really, really big brands. You know what it is to me? All of these collabs that's coming out? It's like Band-Aid or silver tape on internal bleeding. That's no, it's, it's also very public. They think talent don't matter. They think that we don't matter because they think that they can do everything because they see the FaZe logo as the Nike logo and they can just do whatever they want. But there's no depth to it. There's no substance there. There's nothing behind that FaZe logo backing it. There's no culture anymore. That's what these people don't understand. So I'm asking you right now, once again, since you claim to be the biggest org in the world, you know, the leader in the space, Pushing this whole community forward, leading by example. Am I in phase or not? Because if I'm not, I would like to see a statement that I'm not anymore. And I'm, I'm cool with it. Trust me. I can stand on my own two legs. I have a very fucking good community. I'm not worried about that at all. You need people like me more than I Thanks need you. Thanks, you Universe and Brody. And I know you guys don't think that. You're probably laughing. Oh, we don't need him. You'll be surprised. You need people like me in phase. I don't need you. If I'm not in anymore, please make a statement. Let everyone know how you dropped me. I'm cool with that. Let everyone know you dropped me. I can't believe I had to make this video. They wouldn't do that in any way. I sit here and say all these things. Just quietly not sign. Because you would never take me seriously. And you never gave two fucks about me. Because apparently I bring zero value to you. You've showed me over and over and over again how I do not mean shit to you. And I'm fully ready to lose it all. I'm fully ready to lose all these relationships. I'm fully ready for these people to hate me and never speak to me again. I'm fully ready to lose out on money. Who knows what's going to happen? At least I can go to bed and I can wake up and keep my head straight knowing I did the fucking right thing. And I fucking stood up for something. I didn't just let these fucking people walk all over me with all these lies. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. But in reality, they're just paying their buddy. More money than the majority of talent has ever fucking seen who was here for fucking day one. Yep, none of that is surprising. 
I think all of that's... I, I think Rain also talked about that a few months ago. All of that's pretty much exactly what everyone already kind of knew was happening at Phase. Not, not surprising at all. Sad to hear, though. Fucking sucks. Things are resub. Wheels, Church, Kaylee, and No Sow. The bitch, Joe. Oh, Jesus. Thank you for the 20 gift subs, Snurt. Really appreciate the fat drop. Thank you for the generosity. God damn. Things are the prime samurai. If FaZe goes under, you should buy the FaZe CSGO roster. Brother, I don't know if we can afford that. <laughs> like, holy shit. I did, however, see FaZe vs. Vitality. I like the FaZe roster. That game was tragic. 14 to 1 choke. Oof. The bits, Tori. And no, I didn't see that one, Tori. Thanks, the resub BK. 